Hey guys, it is Monday, April 5th. Hope you guys all had a great Easter weekend. I have 23 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. A couple things I went ahead and pulled for my stores unit that sold. This first one is a beater lack. It's a long blanket, sort of like a sleeping bag too. I guess that's a good name to look out for. I think the pattern of mine wasn't like super desirable, so it only sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a WEBN vintage shirt. That's a local radio station and they've got a frog for a mascot. And every year they do a fireworks show downtown. It's been going on for decades. And this just had a really cool look to it. I've had it for maybe, I don't know, six months, nine months. I've only got a couple dollars into it. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next, we've got some viewer orders going out. This right here is that Devil Cuphead vinyl figure and the Heineken sign. Those are going out to Brandon for $40 free shipping. Next we've got five Harry Potter figures. There's Harry, Ron, Dobby, Hagrid, and what is the fifth one? Hermione. Hermione's the fifth one in there. Those five are going out to Moira for $55 free shipping. Then we've got three different Dobbies. One is going to Michael. One is going to Flip, and the other is going to Jane. Each of those sold for $15 free shipping. And lastly, we have two Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sister Funko Pops. Those are going out to Erica for $35 free shipping. And I got pretty much all this from the same garage sale. This one I got from a different one, but all the other stuff you guys saw me buy on that big toy buyout. Michael, Moira, Flip, Brandon, Jane, and Erica. Guys, thank you all so much for the support. I really hope you like those toys. All right, let's go ahead and pull some eBay orders. I sold a Sony camera control unit. I've got three of these. There's one here and two over there. And I've had these for way too long. I got these as part of this big, like, video buy. Gosh, I think it's been, like, well over a year now. Make sure this is the right one. It's CCUTX7. Uh, let's see. Gosh, these things are heavy. Should be a model number on this thing somewhere. Yeah, that's it. CCU TX7. This sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a mug over here in A2. Part of that big eBay store buyout I made. Really cool one. It's slanted because it is Mrs. Incredible. She's got like, you know, her superpower is stretching. Kind of neat. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Matthew got that mug. He says, love your YouTube channel. Thanks for the great sale. Could you please throw in a sticker for my two kids? Matthew, thanks for the support. I'll definitely throw in some stickers for the kids. Okay, next order has two items and they're basically identical. First thing is up here on D1 in this box. It is a Nintendo Wii with two controllers, I think like six or seven games. And then next is Right here, also a Nintendo Wii, two controllers, and six or seven games. Tested these both out. I got them uh, recently as part of a bulk buy. They both worked great. I listed each of them for $69.99 plus shipping. Same buyer got them both, and they have the word wholesale in their name. So I would venture to guess they're going to resell these, which means I probably priced them a little too low, but I don't care. I made good money on these. I'm happy. I'll combine them both into the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. We're shipping a lot of big items today. Next thing is this Sony receiver down here. Let's see if I can get this with one hand because I know it is not light. This was also part of the same bulk buy where I got the Nintendo Wii's. So I've maybe got 10, 15 bucks into this thing. Has all the styrofoam and everything still. Tested it out, works great. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a vintage item. This guy right here, this is a brass plaque says rotary meets here wednesday 11 45 a.m it's pretty heavy too this thing weighs three or four pounds i got this in that flea like indoor flea market a couple months ago i paid ten dollars for it i really couldn't find a lot of comps so i listed it for like i think fifty dollars or best offer somebody sent an offer of 35 dollars plus shipping and i accepted next thing's in c51 right here incredible hulk tv show complete series that sold for $19.99 free shipping, and it's going out to a viewer named Carol. Carol has bought a lot for me in the past. Carol, I want to thank you so much for all the continued support. I really appreciate it. Next thing we're shipping out is down here in C52. It's one of these Rick and Morty keychains. Still have about six or seven of them left. This one sold for $24.99 free shipping. Sold a baseball card in D31. Let's see. I think I've already got it in like cardboard and everything. This is 
a Juan Soto box topper. So like, oh, there it goes. No harm done. So this would uh, well, this was on the top of a box that was opened up. I got it in a case break. It sold for $14.99, free shipping. Sold a Hulk figure up here in D1. This is a gallery diorama. Really cool piece, part of that big Hulk collection that I bought. This one sold for, let's see, $34.99, full shipping. Sold another Hulk item, a uh, comic book. Let's see, right back in here. This one has some pretty good value. And I put it up for auction starting at 99 cents. It sold for 87.68 plus shipping. Next thing's in C4. Let's see, this guy right here. This is a 3M retracting lifeline. Pretty cool piece. Has like a 20 foot rope that retracts back into it. That sold for 59.99 plus shipping. Next order is two lots of Hot Wheels. First is right down here. Total of 20 cars. Uh, the other one is also 20 cars. Let's see, over on E2. Each of these had a mix of like Hot Wheels, Matchbox, or some NASCAR die casts in here. Just a mixed bag. Did auctions for both of them starting at a dollar each, and the pair sold to the same buyer for $33.51 plus shipping. Next thing is a real tree hat. It's an old inventory code that says D4, so I'm guessing it's in one of these boxes see, i do believe it is this one yeah pheasants forever got this at a garage sale last year for like 50 cents or something that's all for 7.99 plus shipping next thing is an e32 this is something i picked up i guess about a month ago with that indoor like garage sale flea market thing this is a halloween postcard i thought i might have to hang on to this until closer to halloween but sold pretty quick i paid six dollars for that it sold for 24.99 free shipping I sold a funko pop Hiding back here on the C2 shelf. This is a Wonder Woman Funko Pop. I was actually in FedEx office the other day, dropping off a package, and saw that they had this clearance down to like $6 or something. So I picked it up, I was gonna give it to my wife, but she already had this one, so I just went ahead and sold it. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a really cool one. It is right here on E4. This is an antique drinking fountain. Got this from an online auction maybe like three weeks ago. Paid just under $40 for it after the, you know, buyer's premium and all that stuff. This sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Next sale is an interesting one. It is right up here. As you guys can see, I've got four cases of these things. I bought them from my guy Mike, and they've been selling here and there. I don't have much money into them. They are scotch hang tabs. Each box has 100, and I listed them individually instead of by the case, and I did like a volume pricing where somebody buys more than one and they did get a discount, and somebody bought five of them. So let's pull all these out. Four and five. With the discount, the five sold for $89.95 plus shipping. Next thing is on B2, right back here. This is a pure water filter, part of a book buy I just made, so I don't have much money into it. That's sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Next thing's a viewer sale, hiding right back here. This is, well, let's see if I can wiggle it out of here. This is a Power Punch Hulk action figure. The, uh, the one where Mark Ruffalo was the Hulk. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping, and it's going out to viewer named Elliot. It says, hi, John. Love your videos. I catch them every day. Keep up the hard work. Stay safe and continue to grow. P.S. If you don't mind, I would love to have a couple of your stickers. Thanks, Elliot. Elliot, thanks for your business. I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. And if you guys want some stickers, but you don't necessarily want to buy something from an eBay store, I have a link down below uh, where I've started selling the stickers. It's a pack of three uh, for $5 free shipping. Okay, last thing I'm shipping out today is a pair of shoes down here on E5. This is also something I got from my guy, Mike. Really slick looking pink Nikes, or Jordans I guess. Um, those sold for $34.99 plus shipping. They're going out to your name, David. David, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. It's Tuesday morning. I have seven eBay orders to ship out and also a couple things going out to viewers I sold outside of eBay. This right here is a stack of kitchen towels. They're like hand embroidered or crocheted or stitched or something. I don't know enough about stitching to know what style that is, but they're all like Mickey and Minnie Mouse. 
These are part of that recent eBay buyout I made, and Nancy bought these. There's one for every day of the week. Uh, she paid $50 free shipping for those. Then I got two pair of Flash, in, or sorry, one pair of Flash underoos, one pair of Captain America underoos. Those are going out to Matt for $35 free shipping. Nancy and Matt, thank you both so much for the support. Next sale is a really cool one down here to C52. Um, here it is. I got this on a bunch of stuff from the Piqua resellers. This is a brass frog clip. Definitely vintage. That sold for $39.99 free shipping. Sold a couple of uh, bass pedals for Guitar Hero and Rock Band. This is the first one right here. That sold for $21.99 plus shipping. And the other one is an A51 right over here. This one's a little different. This is made by Red Octane. That one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next order has three items. First thing is right here. This is a Canon camcorder. Let's see, model is DC100. Has a case, battery, a bunch of extra little goodies. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping, and same buyer got two video games. One's in C32, Need for Speed 2 for PS1, and the other one's in C41. Midway's Arcade Grays Hits, those two uh, sold for $22.98 free shipping, and they're all going out to viewer named Dan. Dan, thank you so much for the business, it means a lot. I sold some more of those Delta Pilot Wings right in here i've got a big box of these i've been selling them in groups of four and they seem to be selling pretty well so i just sold four more of these little guys go ahead and grab them all these sold for 11.99 for shipping last thing going out is a patch it's an old inventory code that says c1 so i'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in here yeah i believe this is it this is part of that big lot of patches I bought last year. That sold for $9.99 free shipping. I forgot to mention this, but the NCAA March Madness is over. Last night, Baylor beat Gonzaga in the championship game. And I'm looking at the standings. Fifth, fifth place, Dan Burner. Fourth place, Michael Ayers. Third place, Paul Burns. Second place, Tom Hansen. And first place, winning the $150 gift card is Fernando Vasquez. Total of 146 points. He had Baylor winning it all. So, Fernando, reach out to me. My email address is down below in the description, and I will get you your gift card. And everybody who played, thanks so much. This is a lot of fun. It's Wednesday morning. I'm heading to my antique booth. I got a van load of stuff. There's a really big antique. Whoops. There's a really big antique wardrobe in the back that my neighbor Greg found when he was going on a walk. Somebody was throwing it away and he even helped me load it. So Greg, thank you for that. Timing was really good because it happened this morning and I was already planning on going to the antique booth. Um, I thought I'd answer a couple questions on the drive. First is from Buffalo Centric. What do you think about what happened to Yarsell Treasure Map? I hope not having Craigslist info hurts garage sale season this year for resellers. So I'm not sure if that's like a negative comment or a positive comment. You're saying that you hope that it hurts the season, like it would be harder to find sales. Anyways, um, yeah, Yard Sale Treasure Map has been around now for like two or three years. And it was this app that you paid like, I don't know, $2, $4 for, something like that. And basically it pulled all of the garage sale ads on Craigslist and just like put them in map form so that when you open it up, you know, it would locate where you're at and then search like, you know, 20, 30 mile radius or whatever for garage sales. And like you could click each ad and it would open it up and, you know, kind of just show you the Craigslist ads. So it was really handy. I particularly liked it whenever I was traveling, you know, if we're out of town somewhere and I might not know the area that well and I'm looking at Craigslist ads. I don't know what a certain part of town is or where it's at. You could just open up that app and it would kind of give you an idea of like what's close by you. So I really liked using it. I didn't solely use the Arsenal Treasure Map. Um, a lot of times like I would just go through Craigslist and you know see what sales are out there. I like hitting neighborhood sales. Personally, there's a lot of neighborhood sales in Cincinnati. So I would look for those first and kind of prioritize them. So that's mostly what I'm going to do now is I'm still going to look for neighborhood sales. I know the city really well so I can look through ads and see what I want to hit and make my list and just kind of go like that. I will let you guys know, um, Craigslist does have an app and you can uh, search it and do it by map view, not just for garage sales but for anything. So you go in, you click for sale, you go to garage sales and it'll 
pull it all up in the map for you. So that's something worth looking into if you guys really like the Archdale treasure map. But yeah, I don't think it's going to hurt anything all that much, to be honest. It just makes things a little bit harder to find. All right, next is from Intruder22. I want to start storing items like you do. My question is, how do you choose which box to put it in? Is it based upon just knowing or do you have a system to tell you that a certain box is low on stock and that is where it should be put? I've learned so much from you and have just now reached 200 items listed. That's awesome. Uh, and I'm getting overwhelmed and need to be more organized. Keep up the great content and work. So I do think it's important to have some kind of inventory system in place. That, you know, I don't know that any inventory system is perfect. Just have something so that when you sell an item, it's easy to find. When I first started selling on eBay, I was just randomly putting stuff on shelves. And I, every time I would make a sale, I would just have to hunt and go find the thing. And it was a pain in the butt. I hated it. And I would lose stuff all the time. Currently, what I do, um, basically, I've got, what is it, six different racks, I think. And there's like an A rack, a B rack, a C rack, so on and so forth. Then each shelf is like A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. And then on those shelves, I might have boxes. So like if a shelf is on A, if a box is on uh, A3 shelf, then it's, you know, A3, one. If I do another one, then it's A3, two. So that's kind of how my system works. And as far as knowing what to put in the boxes, I personally just see whichever box has space, whichever, you know, Wherever there's space available to store something, that's where I put that item when I list it. And I prefer to put items that are not alike together because when I'm going to pull an item, let's say I'm pulling a video game and I know it's an A41, I go over to A41, if there was like 20 video games in there, it would take me a little bit of time to sort through them all and make sure I found the right one. But if it's there's a video game with like a bobblehead and a belt buckle, like it's gonna stick out really easy. It's gonna be easy for me to pull. So that's how I do it. I'm sure there's a lot of other ways that people do inventory. Um, anybody watching this, if you guys have inventory tips, leave a comment below. All right, everything is in the booths, priced, ready to go. I had a lot of people sign my guest book since I've last been there, and I wanted to give some thank yous. I had my mask on in there, so didn't want to do it in there, but I want to give uh, shout outs to Mike, Scott, Peter, Judy and Gary, Kevin, Kevin and Scarlett, Trisha, Alan, Michael and Mary, P.E. Shaw, Jeff and Erica, Chris, Muriel, Emily, Ren, Greg and Maureen, Daryl and Stephen, who was celebrating his 50th birthday, he said when he was at my booth. So Stephen, happy belated birthday, and thank you guys all so much for stopping by the booths. All right, back at the warehouse, I have, I think, like 15 or so eBay orders to ship out, and then I've got a couple of viewer orders as well. I went ahead and pulled this for my storage unit. This is a McLean Breakaway Club, so it's meant to be a training tool to not, you know, to teach it when you're doing your backswing. You don't pull it too fast, otherwise it breaks kind of neat piece even has a little like contour to grip here that's all for $24.99 plus shipping that's going to have a view named Justin and then I thought I had something in here but I guess not just an empty box but this is a viewer sale this is going out to Curtis it is all those Legos I got in that big toy like garage sale buyout thing that I did I think there's 13 mini bags and then there's this monster fighter set Curtis bought all those for $50 free shipping Curtis and Justin guys thank you both so much for the support Next thing is an F-52, right down here, this laser grip, you guys watched the uh, April Fool's video where <laughs> Whitney listed this and sold it for 99 cents free shipping. We actually listed it for real and it sold for $24.99 free shipping. I sold a Harry Potter uh, little like Funko vinyl figure, you guys have been seeing me sell a lot of these from that toy buyout. Uh, this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping and it is going to a viewer named Jacqueline. Jacqueline, thank you for the business. I hope you like the toy. Next order has two items. First is an F32. Let's see, crawl for PS4. Matter of fact, I sold something else in here too. Okay, so this buyer got crawl for PS4. 
And then in D41, they got this game right here. Uh, Senko no Ronde. I have no idea. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing this. Both of these are new in the plastic. I uh, got as part of a bulk buy recently. The pair sold for $48.98 free shipping. And the other thing I pulled out of there, this dongle for Wii Rock Band. That sold for $29.99 free shipping. And the other copy of Crawl that I pulled out sold for $21.99 free shipping. Next thing is in C41. This guy right here, Killer Croc. I had a couple of these. These were part of that um, eBay store buy I made. And that sold for $14.49 free shipping. Going out to a view named Ricky. It's like the fourth thing that Ricky's bought for me. So Ricky, thank you so much for all the support, man. I really appreciate it. So a couple more Harry Potter things. Let's see. D32, I guess I could have just grabbed this one. I grabbed the other one. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And then I sold one on C4. A uh, different Harry Potter. This one is the Herbology or Herbology. Where he's got like a little plant and everything. That one also sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Sold a mug up here in A2. Disney World Mickey Mouse CEO. Creative, energetic, optimistic. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And it's going out to a viewer named David. David says, hey John, long time viewer. Love the channel and motivating content. Keep up the great work. Best wishes to you and your family. David, thank you for the kind words and thanks for your support. All right, we're going back to A2. Sorry for the noise. Neighbors are working on lawn mowers again. I sold this little Linux cat figurine with the flag. It was in that eBay store buyout. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Going out to a viewer named Tanya. Tanya says, hi John, I watch your channel all the time. I've learned a lot from you. I have a YouTube channel, Thrifty Nana Horton, and my eBay store is Nana Loves Thrifting. Could you please throw in some stickers for me? Tanya, thank you for your business. I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. Next thing is a vintage glass over here in A8. This guy right here, Beaky Buzzard, part of the Pepsi's Looney Tunes glasses from the early 70s. That one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, apparently I sold two of these. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Uh, Harry Potter Herbology sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next we're going to D41. I sold another one of these pedals for Rock Band. This is for, I'm pretty sure it's Rock Band. That one sold for $21.99 plus shipping. Last thing I'm shipping out is two uh, Bose pieces. First is a subwoofer right here. I actually got this speaker system as part of a recent bulk buy and I decided to separate it because one of the pieces was bad but everything else was good so the subwoofer sold for 69.99 plus shipping and the same buyer went ahead and bought the speakers as well and they also sold for 69.99 plus shipping i'll just combine them all in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost it's thursday afternoon i have 14 ebay orders to ship out and one sale outside of ebay this right here this is that snow globe you guys saw me pick up at that estate sale last weekend I was guessing it was Chicago, and I was right. A lot of people commented on the video saying this is Chicago. This is going out to Gina for $25 free shipping. And Gina, thank you for the business. I hope you like that snow globe. Next is down in A51, also a viewer sale. This is a Game Boy Color like fanny pack bag. Kind of a neat thing. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping, and it's going out to Cecil. Cecil, I know you've bought for me in the past, so thank you so much for all the support, man. I really appreciate it. Next thing is back here on F2. I recently got a lot of like video games and random stuff and these two guitars were in it. Let's see if I can wiggle it out of here. This is an unassembled Guitar Hero guitar. Still has all the packing and everything. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next are some comic books. Let's see, right here. This is a lot of, how many? Eight. Eight Incredible Hulk comments. I did an auction for these starting at 99 cents and they sold for $46 plus shipping. Sold some more comics. Next one is in C31. This is one I decided to auction by itself. Thought I might have went for more, but I'm so happy with what it sold for. Uh, started at a dollar, sold for $13.39 plus shipping. And the next is a lot of comics. These right here. This is a total of eight and they sold for $31 plus shipping. I sold some cards, most of them I think are in here, so we'll just go ahead and pull this box. Let's see, first lot is MLB5. It is 25 baseball cards. 
this one right here it has a Ken Griffey Jr. Derek Jeter and some other ones these sold at auction for $28 plus shipping then I sold this lot MLB 6 those sold for $18.50 plus shipping then I sold a lot of football cards FB 6 there's 25 in here Tom Brady Peyton Manning Aaron Rodgers those sold for $31 plus shipping I thought I sold this other lot of football cards but I'm thinking they haven't paid yet I don't see FB5 anywhere in my shipped out stuff. So we'll go ahead and put this back. And I know that I sold one or two more in here. Actually, maybe just one. Let's see. This is BB4 basketball, 25 cards. Those sold for $49 plus shipping. And those are going out to your name, James. James, thank you for the support. I hope you like those cards. Okay, moving right along. Next thing is in C42. It is these right here. I got these in a bulk buy a couple months ago, and I did not know what they were, but you guys helped me out and identified them as espresso machine. I think they're called porta filters, basically like handles for an espresso machine. Uh, those sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a PS2 wireless controller down here in E51. It is a Logitech, one of those wireless ones. It does not have the wireless receiver so that hurt the value but it's still sold for $19.99 free shipping sold a mug over here in a2 this one right here this is a ladybug mug part of that ebay store buyout it's from western germany i'm not even going to try to pronounce what that company name is but it's sold for $19.99 plus shipping next is down in a51 also part of that ebay store this is oil of oregano total of 120 capsules those sold for $21.99 free shipping. And last thing going out today is an E32. It's this big lot of patches. I've had these for over a year. And I originally had them in like lots of eight. And I think I did some kind of like buy it now for each one. And I was tired of looking at them. And I said, I'm just going to do all these together as one big auction. So it's a total of 44 patches. Started the auction at a dollar. These sold for $17.50 free shipping. And they're going out to your name, Steven. Steven, thank you so much for the business, man. I really appreciate it. It's Friday morning. I have eight eBay orders to ship out. And the first one I went ahead and pulled over from my storage unit. This is an Eric Beverly team-issued jersey. He could have worn it in the game. I really don't know. I got this in that eBay store buyout. It was with all that clothing and other stuff. And I listed this for $100. I sent out an offer of $75. The watcher countered with $70 plus shipping, and I accepted Next thing is back here in F51. Let's move this rack out of the way. Let's see. It's hiding back here. This is a World War Hulk Marvel figure. That sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And it is going out to a viewer named Nick. Nick, thanks so much for the support, man. Hope you like that figure. Next is a lot of mugs. Let's see. Right down here. I got a ton of mugs in that eBay store buyout, and I thought I would try an auction with some of these. These were all Starbucks mugs that really weren't worth listing individually. I mean, they might be worth 4 or $5 each, so I was like, you know what, let's try an auction, see how it goes. So I put six mugs up for auction, started at a dollar. They didn't do great, so I might not do it again. These sold for $10.50 plus shipping. Okay, next is an E32. It's a really small piece right down here. This is another thing that I sent an offer out to, and we went back and forth. It is an old Armco, like, employee badge tag. This is a local company uh, here in Middletown, probably 20 minutes away from me. I had this listed, I think, for, like, $20 free shipping. I sent out an offer for, like, $17. They counted with $15, and I accepted. Next is a lot of cards. Uh, let's see. These right here, FB5. It's a total of 25 cards. It has a Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and some other ones. These were up for auction, uh, starting at a dollar. They sold for $26 plus shipping. And they are going out to viewer named Bowden. He says, thanks for your channel and the advice you give. I've just started reselling here in Australia, and your constant advice and support are a godsend. Can't wait to get these cards. If you can give a shout out to my eBay store, False Creek Flips, that would be greatly appreciated. Bowden, happy to shout out your store, man. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, next thing is a hat down here in A51. I actually just listed this today. 
which sometimes means that you price something too cheap, but I don't think that's the case with this one because I looked at the comps and I think I priced it appropriately. I just bought like a thousand hats yesterday, so you guys are going to be seeing me sell a lot of hats. This one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Okay, last things we're shipping out. There's three items in one order. They're all right here in A3. It is some cards, so let's slide these out of the way. I did some listing last night at home, so if you see the photo looks different, that's because I was taking the pictures on my kitchen counter. Um, I think the first one, let's see, we got a Manny Machado, a D.D. Gregorius, and a Jose Abreu. Here's the Jose Abreu rookie card, Topps Chrome. That sold for $11.99 free shipping. Then we've got a D.D. Gregorius autograph, Topps Tribute card. Has that cool refractor color to it. That sold for $13.99 free shipping. And the last card they bought is this Manny Machado Bowman Platinum Rainbow Foil Rookie Card. That sold for $11.99 free shipping. The buyer didn't say they were a viewer, but I recognize the username that's bought from me before. So Jorge, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the business. Really hope you like these cards. All right, guys, before I end this video, I have some viewer mail that I want to open. First is from Nate in Pennsylvania. Hey, John, this is Nate from Central Pennsylvania Hershey. I have been watching your channel for a while now and love watching you find gold at the yard sales. I have a very low level YouTube channel and while I do not have stickers, I do have these coins I had made about a year ago. Thanks for the content. I look forward to more videos. Nate. It says, Sir Scratch a lot. Lottery Ninja scratches again. Or strikes again, I'm sorry. There's the ninja. Nate, that is cool. Thank you, man. All right, next is Drew from Michigan. John, thank you for all that you do. When I started, I was absorbing content from any channel I could find, but two years later, the cream has risen to the top, as they say. My channel, Tip of the Mint Flips, doesn't yet have a need for stickers, but I just had to get one for your workbench. This sticker is serial number one of one, so that should add to its collectible value. Keep doing what you do, and thanks for helping this guy to become a guy without a job. Drew, Tip of the Mint Flips. And I'm pretty sure Tip of the Mint is because he's in Michigan and the state of Michigan is shaped like an oven mitt and he must be like at the very top of it. All right, let's see what we got from Drew. Oh, wow, that is so cool. So yeah, his sticker, he's got, he's got the state of Michigan uh, little oven mitt thing there. He's got a little eBay icon at the top. I'm guessing that's where he is. Drew, this is awesome. I'll definitely put this on my workbench. Thank you for sending it. Okay, next is from Dana in Arizona. Hello, I recently picked up a lot of vintage ephemera and in the box were some random sports items, including this Reds autograph, and I immediately thought of you and figured I'd send it out your way versus selling it on my eBay store. I appreciate the content you put out and you in part helped inspire me to start up uh, on YouTube myself with my own channel, Dana Invests. And I'd love it if you had the time to check it out and give me some feedback, I'll definitely do that, Dana. I've been selling for years and this last month was my best month ever breaking $10,000 in sales for the month and hope to only grow from here. 10,000 is awesome, Dana. Nice job. Hope you're having an awesome day, Dana. And the picture is Scooter Jeanette. Look at that. That is awesome. This guy hit four home runs in one game one time and the Reds rewarded him with an actual scooter. They, they brought the scooter onto the field for scooters. I thought that was pretty neat. Dana, thank you so much. I'll definitely check out your YouTube channel. All right, next is Big Squid RC in Illinois. Hey John, recently you said if we had stickers that we could write in and send you some. These stickers are not for my eBay store. It's not big enough yet, but I'm getting there thanks to you and Lonnie showing us all the way. I can't thank you enough for answering several of my questions over the last few months. Every answer helped me out a bunch. These stickers are for my webpage and YouTube channel, Big Squid RC. Feel free to give a shout out. Hopefully you have room on your table for them. Thank you for all you do and all the help advice you have given, Brian. Brian, these are some cool stickers. Look at that. Big Squid RC. I will definitely put these on the workbench. Thank you, Brian. Okay, next is from WRP in North Carolina. John, I appreciate all the great content. I got started part-time in October and your channel has been a huge help. I've included a couple of stickers for you. Thanks again and continued success in the future. David, Wild River Products. Oh, no way. This is so cool. So he's got business cards that say, you can't please everyone, you're not a dog. Just try to be the person your dog thinks you are and you'll please the right ones. And then there are the stickers. 
David, thanks for sending these. I appreciate it. All right, next is from Timothy in Florida. It's like a yearbook. And we've got a note here. Hey, John, thanks again for the Jurassic Park camera. Long time viewer, first time buyer, and stoked it is in my collection now. I found this yearbook and found someone I thought you would find of interest who graduated that year from this high school. Hope you like it. Your videos have helped my wife and I with our eBay business, and we appreciate all the advice you give out. P.S. I run a podcast called The Cuckoo's Nest on Spotify, as well as have some music artist named Tim Quitco that I'd love for you to check out if you ever get a chance. Yes, I will definitely check that out, Tim. Keep up the great work, and thanks for being such a valuable resource, Tim Quitco. All right, let's see this yearbook. He didn't say who was in it, so I might have to just do my own research to figure it out. All right, this is Tamal Pace High School, 1980. So 1980, they would have been 18, so they probably would have debuted, if they're a baseball player, they probably would have debuted like 85, like mid to late 80s, as a guess. Oh wow, a lot of signatures in here. Where is, where is, is it Florida? It doesn't say where it is. All right, I'm curious. I'm gonna have to do some Googling really quick and see what the famous alumni is from this year, from this high school. Okay, it's in California. So somebody graduated here in 1980, let's see. Um, notable alumni, this is their Wikipedia page. Ryan Price. So Brian Price went to school here, that is so cool. So Brian Price is a former Cincinnati Reds manager. I actually got to meet him too when we were in Arizona in 2014 for spring training. We went to like some of the practices and he was just incredibly nice. I mean, he was just talking to me like we were old friends, a really nice guy. I'll have to dig through here and find him, but Tim, thank you so much for sending this. This is really cool. Okay, last but not least is from Americana from Maryland. Oh, wow. Holy cow, this is amazing. I know there's a note in here too, so I'm gonna dig the note out and read it first. John, I found this in the storage unit here near DC. Not sure how it found its way from Ohio, but thought you could make better use of it. Regards, Carl. So this is an old panorama of Sigma Chi fraternity. I'm guessing from UC from 1931. That is awesome. Wow, this is really neat. Carl, thank you for sending this, man. All right, that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.